My name is Mark Cutright. I work uh, for Innovative Orthopedics in Paris, Tennessee. Uh, I'm an orthopedic surgeon and I'm here to introduce the uh, new robot at Henry County Medical Center. Medicoplasty involves the use of a uh, robotic arm type robot to assist us uh, in, the, in the surgery primarily on two specific types of uh, joint replacements right now. The, the first of which is a total hip replacement uh, and we use it to help uh, align and position the uh, cup and the uh, stem in position to give the uh, patient the best uh, chance for a good result. Uh, we also use it on partial knee replacements at this point. Uh, so the knee is divided into three different areas as far as uh, the weight bearing surfaces and uh, we use that uh, we can replace one or two of those using this, this robot. Uh, it's currently in FDA approval to be used for a complete total knee replacement and that's expected out sometime next year. The surgeon still does the surgery. Uh, the Makoplasty robot just assists with the surgery. It's a, it's a robotic arm that holds the tool. We activate the tools. We use the tools. Uh, we're looking at the patient's anatomy. We're looking at the computer screen. We're correlating those at all times. Um, and uh, no, in no sense is the robot actually doing the surgery. Uh, it is merely uh, assisting with what, what we're trying to accomplish and, and helps us put them in, helps us put things in more precisely. There's three different interactions. There's the, the robotic arm that I use that uh, assists me with the, the insertion of the prostheses. There's a computer system that has a CAT scan from the patient that's been inputted into it. And then there's another individual uh, that uh, coordinates the, the, those two things. Each patient's bony anatomy is a little bit different and so that CAT scan uh, or x-ray for lack of a better term are, are input into the computer and so what we're part of what we're doing during the surgery process is identifying for the computer or the makoplasty system the um, positioning of the patient and the anatomy of the patient so it knows each patient's personal bony anatomy and then it helps based on that anatomy uh, put the pieces in the best position for that patient. The biggest benefits are hopefully longevity. We're putting them in in a better angle, better position so that the forces across this artificial prosthesis make it last longer, okay? Potentially, um, we're ha quicker. Uh, the surgery will, will, will go along at a, at a faster pace, less anesthesia time, uh, that sort of thing, uh, because we're not having to um, do multiple cuts, reamings, that sort of thing. It's one time and we're done and we move on. Um, and uh, the other thing is when we're using the robot, it's doing a lot of the seeing uh, for us. We don't have to have as good a, of an exposure to see things. Um, and so once we have it into position, we aren't having to do as much dissection in exposure. So that leads to hopefully faster recovery as well. Yeah, there's, there's no additional cost for this. This is part of the standard total knee or total hip or partial knee procedure. Um, it's, uh, there is no additional charges with it at this point. One of the great things about Henry County being the first place in, in West Tennessee to have this system is it's really the future. Um, I think right now it's total knee replacements. Uh, I believe in the future uh, you know, spinal surgery will be done using this, this assistance. Um, I, I believe fracture, certain fractures will be taken care of in this way. Um, and, and so it's just going to progress, even though total joints is the first thing, it's going to continue to progress and Henry County is on the leading edge of that technology and can just continue to expand it as time goes by.